In this video, I'm going to show you the most important thing you can do to start catching up in Battle Pirates. Hey everyone, Derpy here. Welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. What you're seeing here is the Forsaken Mission prize screen as of October 4th, 2020. If you're watching this a month, two months, or a year later, it may look somewhat different. But by and large, you should have one goal. This goal is to get the ship build tokens. Ship build tokens are something you can use to speed up your ships. So if you see in price pool 3 here or whatever one it is on your game, there's a one day ship build token. If I get 100 points, I can get this token. But there's more. There are a few different hidden chests. You can see the Elite Forsaken Mission chest here contains two days of ship build tokens and some uranium, and price pool, price pool 5 has between three and nine days of ship build tokens. You should be aiming to get these every single week the Forsaken Mission is happening without fail. Okay, how do you actually get those? You get those by hitting different targets here. Currently, there is one target in the Forsaken Mission for Praetorians. If you see anything for the ship that you're actually using, the fleet you're using, and right now, October 2020, the best fleet, the one you're giving out in the beginner TLC, the beginner campaign, is the Praetorians. There is a better one, the Everest, which you're seeing here. Don't really bother with any of these targets. Hit the lowest one for the Praetorian, or whatever is worse than that. Currently, it's level 135, which does pay about 6,000 points, although this target might actually cycle through in the future. What you're going to do is you're going to find one. It's often challenging on map to find the one closest to you because the locator doesn't actually work very well, which could be very frustrating. So I'm going to look around and find one that's actually way closer, which you know, isn't really surprising. All you're going to do is attack this one. This is my brand new beginner fleet, no changes, and let's see how this thing does. It is not going to be great and potentially might not even complete the target, but these prizes for the ship build tokens, which you're aiming to get every single time, are so out of date that you can only, if you hit a few sections of the target, you'll be able to get the whole thing. Now I'm going to do a little bit of driving here through this thing just to see if I can actually end up killing this, but if you end up autoing this thing, that's going to be okay as well and it shouldn't be that big of a deal here. I'm not going to do anything super fancy or have a step-by-step -step narrative walking through this target. It's just this video here that I'm releasing. Try and keep moving, and I'm even staying stacked as opposed to driving with one ship slightly separate, which is a more advanced maneuver or technique that you can do here. I'm just shooting at everything here. Some of the things I'm doing instinctually, like driving, trying to avoid damage. You can see all those mortars that just hit behind me. I kept moving, so they missed. Now you'll see it in the top left health bar that the enemy is about one quarter dead and I'm about one eighth or one tenth dead so I'm doing pretty well and I should be able to kill the whole thing here. Praetorians are a fairly easy hold to drive and they're somewhat fun too as well because they are fast enough. It's nothing super tricky here just make sure you get all the structures behind you and don't miss anything. If you want to take your own time explore this target try and get the damage down as low as you possibly can definitely do that. I will also talk about in a future video potential build changes I would make to this Praetorian hole that you get from, from the Beginner's Treasure Trove campaign, as well as potentially talk about some of the changes I would make to the other Siege, Assault, and Skirmish holes that you get through these Beginner campaigns here, which are again a fantastic addition to the game, is what allows you to catch up and hit these targets here. Now, if you're hitting a different target than level 135, it doesn't really matter too much. Just try and stay moving, you'll be able to complete the thing. Yep, the damage I'm taking is not fantastic, it's not great, but I'm getting the thing done and I'm going to get 6,000 points. And when I'm done with this, I'll show you what 6,000 points can actually get you right now. Because, at least until Kickslide potentially updates the Forsaken Mission, there are really just not, there, there's nothing stopping you from spending all these points on ship build tokens, which is a fantastic thing here. And you'll see at the end of this, my fleet is about one quarter dead, so I could hit up to four of these things with no issues and get a whole bunch of points here. Now, at this point in the game, you're not going to be sure what to focus on, which is why I'm trying to do this one, telling you to get these ship build tokens. What you're going to see here is that I have 6,000 points, like I said, and if I go into the first, into the Forsaken Mission prize store, you will see that over that in prize pack one price pool one here there's a whole bunch of these chests here you should get all of these if you haven't they give you free ships that you can use to complete the beginner campaigns i already talked about this in a separate video but if you haven't done that definitely get all of these things day one here now this chest from price pool one is, a, is has a one hour research token it isn't good but just get it there's no reason not to as far as the punisher build tokens you should skip over those things 
In price pool 2, you have to redeem something first before you can redeem the chest, so just realize that. If I were you, I would scroll down and redeem the high velocity rounds, which is a very good special, as well as a few other things such as strike warheads may come in useful at some point here, and cannon system, not very useful. There's not a lot, there's not a lot of great stuff in this thing right here, so I would just pick up those two things right here, high velocity rounds as well as strike warheads. They can go well on some ship builds later in your life. Now, medium for second mission chest here is a decent one. It's a one-day research token. If you have research, that it can help out here. Hellstorm Anti-Mortar B might have some occasional uses in terms of a tank. When you get to price pool 3, you again need to redeem a, another price here before you can get this large forsaken chest. So I'm going to pick up the, a few things that I find have been useful in the past, such as Agility System 3. That is a decent thing right there. Let's see. Frontline Countermeasure System 2 is decent. And you can see at this point, I've gotten a couple prizes. I still have over 5,000 points. All of these things here are really, really cheap. Pick up all the Siege Targeting and Siege Battery 3 and 4 that you have. There are th There's a version 4 in the best price pack, the price, price pool 5, as well as Combustion System 1 and 2. A few other things here can be decent. Everything you see here in the beginning are things that are potentially useful. If you see me skipping over things like the Particle Accelerator Cannon, it's because it's old, and these armors here are pretty outdated and don't give you a whole lot of survival compared to everything else. Phalanx 4 and Hellstorm D are probably going to be your best anti-mortars and anti-missiles in the game, at least until you can start getting the limited versions of those, and if it's limited, it means you have to get one every time you use it, whereas most blueprints are unlimited and you can get one all the time here. Now D5, this one armor plate right here can occasionally be useful, so that's about all I would get from this particular price pack right here. There are not a lot of other fantastic great things here, and you know, that's what I would stick with if I were redeeming prizes here. And now you can get the large forsaken chest, so there you go. There's a one day structure build token, which can be useful in some cases, and make sure you click the arrows left and right to get the one day ship build token. After you get this, you can go ahead in price pool 4. Again, you need to redeem something before you get this chest. And when you get this chest, don't open it yet. If I were getting things, there's the RFX engine, which is pretty good because it adds some explosive reload. You can also go ahead and pick up a few other things in here. There is some, uh, a lot of stuff you really don't need, but something like Siege Battery 4 is very useful, and I would highly recommend picking up because you will likely use that on many builds going forward. Tactical Insulator can be good for PvP stuff, so you're going to go ahead and pick that up now just in case it is important later. There are a few other things that I would potentially look at picking up here, uh, including one Gale System 3, potentially useful if you want to get one every week in terms of a limited blueprint, although there are going to be better ones available. Drum Reloaders is helpful for some ballistic reload and ballistic damage. It can go on some niche fleets in today's game. And there are a few other things that you could pick up here if you, if you really wanted to. You can even just get all the prizes, all the regular unlimited prizes in the game in one day or so. If you click on a blueprint right here, and like this is an example of an unlimited blueprint, you get one It works all the time you use it. A few of these other ones here are limited. It doesn't actually say which one is or not, so just be careful about that. And now you can get the Elite for second Mission chest, which is fantastic. Then price pool 5, you really get into a whole bunch of things. Again, you want the legendary for taking mission chest, which you need to redeem something else for. You'll notice there's a bunch of prizes in here for 140,000, 35,000. Don't worry about any of those things. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and pick up a few things that I think are useful here. You already get several of them for free from the beginner priced packs, but subaquatic propellant is an example of something that's useful, force projectile speed as well as countermeasure reload. Going through the rest of this here, there are not that many things that are actually really fantastic. There are just a handful here and there, such as lowered can amount. This it has, again, a niche use on a few ballistic builds in later on in the game, as well as, say, Nuclear Accelerators 3, if that is in here. Assault Battery MKCOM is definitely something I would pick up. It's something that works very well on many Assault ships, which is, uh, is pretty good. This armor, D5 EV, is the better version of the Evade armor I already picked up in an earlier price pack. Make sure you get that. That's pretty useful. Skirmish battery is useful on some of your skirmish ships. And there are a few other different things that you should be picking up. 
And at this point, you'll see I'm pretty low on points here. I've used almost all of the 6,000. So I'm going to scroll past all of these things. And most of these armors, by the way, and explosive batteries, stuff like this, start to get limited. So just be aware of this and don't really pick to, to up too much of this stuff because you'll use all your points on something bad. Don't get any of the big points before you know what you're doing with it yet. Now I've redeemed all these ship build tokens. There, I'm going to go into my chest menu and open a few things here. Always open the legendary Forsaken Mission chest first. You can see I got two two-day ship build tokens. If I go into my base and I show you the capacity on the two-day ship build tokens, it is actually, you can only hold two of them. So you have to spend them before you redeem something else here. And you can see that, I'm gonna click through all these X's really quickly. You can see that here, if you go into the tokens menu on the bottom right of your screen, you can only hold two of them. If I were to open this Elite Forsaken Mission chest, I would reach capacity, I would overfill this thing. This is why you always open this chest first. You can open almost everything else as long as you don't overfill, but always open the legendary one first. Now that you have your ship build tokens, you're going to be able to start building some new things here, which is an interesting thing to get into. And I will, we're already running up at about 10 minutes for this video, so I will start on that next time. What ship you should actually be building in the game. I hope this video was helpful. If you are enjoying the series, this content, go ahead and let me know with a comment below. Leave a like on this video. If you have questions on what to be doing, leave a comment below, and I will be back with the next video of what hole to actually build now that you have the ship build tokens to do it. And as always, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.